What's up, YouTube? Man, Eddie's one. Dan P. Um, follow up question that GGJ Fly got threw out there the other day. A successful speed run. To me, the whole race is done on your wheels. So, me and him was discussing it. And we wanted to, well, more so he said, let's put it out there and get a response on it. See what people think. I mean, I believe that he believes also it should be done on the wheels entirely, as do I. But we want to put it out there for the community, get some feedback on it. So your brothers, um, so your brothers feel about that. Successful speed run should be done on your wheels. Now, my thing, I'm gonna take it a little bit further. Okay, you might do a little willy, or you might slip up and get some deuce of hazard two wheel action on the side. I'm not. I don't think we're talking about that. I mean, like you're in the race. Or somewhere during a race, you end up on the hood of your car or the ceiling of your car. To me, that's not a successful run. Everybody's going to pop a wheelie. That comes with power, with speed, with high ground clearance. Everybody's going. Anybody with high ground clearance may end up popping a wheelie. But when you bang out, I mean, hit the curve, flip over, or lose traction, flip over, or whatever, should that count? Personally, I don't think so. I believe GGJ Fly Guy doesn't think so neither or either but we just gonna put it out there for y'all that's um that's it comment down below get a little feedback tell me what y'all think tell us what y'all think rather there's a question out there do y'all think riding on the roof of your car is a successful speed run doing a speed run is a successful speed run or not peace